Hey guys, hello. Hello, hello. Hello guys, can you hear me? Hello? Hello teacher, good evening. Hey, good evening, hello guys. I'm really sorry for being late. How are you doing, good? I'm good teacher. Okay, five minutes late, but I am here finally. It was horrible. There was an accident on the way, but I am here already. Okay, hello, Wendy, Sofia, Eduardo, uh, Ivan, Melissa, and, and Julio. Okay, nice, nice, guys. Um, okay, today we have the penultimate class. This is class number 15. And we are going to finish the topics of this unit number five. Okay, let's let's see what we have to to share today. Uh, you see the screen? You see it, guys? Let me know. Yes. We can see it. Yes, 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 teacher. Okay, thank you. Thank you so much. Okay. Besides uh, continuing, how was your day? Tell me, how was it? How was your day, guys? Same as mine or different? Huh? Good day? Oh, busy? Today was great because uh, I went to get my driver's license it had expired period for six months uh, it is necessary to have it updated ah, okay congrats Ivan. congratulations you went to the uh to the drive to the driver's academy to re renew your driver's license. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Ah, okay. That's cool. Okay. Yeah, okay. Very good. Okay. Perfect, Hi. perfect. What about you, Julio? Everything Hi. all right? Perfect. No, no, no. Yeah, everything no. was all right, teacher. Uh, I was at, at the office uh, eight hours uh, attending meetings and doing some papers, and that's all. Oh, okay, okay, pretty good. BC eight hours in meetings. Okay, nice. Okay, but that is your job. Okay, perfect. Hello, Sofia. Uh, Romeo is, is joining. We are just uh, starting, guys. Don't worry. I was five minutes late, but no more. Okay, let's begin the final class, the penultimate class of the course. Tomorrow is the final one. And we are going to finish uh, with this topic that we started last night that was about noun phrases as objects. But in this one, we are going to check a different, different subjects that you can use. Uh, for example, let's see, Ivan, can you help me with uh, with this slide, please? Okay. Other new phrases. As we study in the previous class, we can make in now phrases as subject, as object, but we can do others, other the sentence. Okay, good. As we studied in the previous class, if you see, we did use uh noun phrases but in this opportunity we have these ones we have these ones do you remember this one yeah from last night yes all right sophia yes, can you read the, uh, the first two yes and uh, one thing that one thing that, that is the one that we used uh, yesterday. This is another option. You can say. Something that. Something that is similar to one thing that. Okay, Romeo, the other two. Uh, 
Romeo? One person, Ajá. one person, who, or that. Or that. In this one, in number three, you choose. Yeah. You choose if you want to say who or that. But only one from those two options. Yeah. Finally. Two people, who or that. Or that. Okay. And we have the complements. The complements, uh, for example, uh, Carla, the first complement that you can use. I love taking is my favorite singer. Okay. I love talking. Is talking. Talking is my favorite singer. Singer. Okay. And uh, next one, please. Uh, can you read it, Melissa or Julio? Number two, the second compliment. Can you can you really I, I really miss is my best friend's great mood. Okay, pretty good. All right, the next one, number three. I do nervous about it's it's talking in public. Talking in public. And finally we have I'd I'd really house are my parents. Okay, good. Those are the compliments. The purpose is that you link one option to your left with the options in the complement. For example, what option can you connect with? One thing that, what is the one that you can connect it? Which option is the most appropriate with one thing that? Number one, option one, option two, three or four. Any, anyone, anybody? I think uh, number two. Number two, can you read it complete, please? One thing that I really miss in my best friend, great mood. Okay. All right. Let's see. One thing that I didn't really miss is my best friend's great mood. Yeah. You can connect it with, with the second option. Okay. Now, there's number two. Guys. Hello, anyone, anybody? Something that I really be nervous. Uh, no, 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 no. Mm -hmm. Okay, check them, check them. Okay. The most appropriate that you can use to connect. Yes, uh, something them. that I really be nervous about is talking in public. Okay, it sounds like that you can connect it. Yes, you could connect it with, uh, with this one. Yes, something that you are talking about an, a situation. Okay, and this situation is this one. Uh, nervous about talking in public. Pretty good. Okay, Sophia, number three. Which one? Uh -huh. Sophia, maybe. Okay. Um, one person that I really give hugs are my parents. Uh, one person, ah, okay, but with this one, check. Is it singular or plural? Singular. Singular. Okay, singular. Yeah, it's singular. So when you have singular, one person, you are me, you are saying ah, it's only one. But in this one, you have you have parents. Parents is plural. So you can connect it with this one. Okay, sorry. 
No problem. One, can you read it complete? One person that I love talking is my favorite singer. Ah, okay, good. One person that or who I love talking is my favorite singer, correct. Okay, and obviously the final one is, can you read it? Two people. Two people. Okay, Romeo. Uh, sorry, uh, Julio. Julio, Julio. Uh, two people who or that I really give hugs are my parents. Okay, in this case, yes, because parents is plural, and you are saying at the beginning, two, two people. For being specific, but remember only one option, Julio, only one. Two people who I did really give hugs are my parents, or that. But it's only one option. Okay, very good. Let's see, the next slide is showing similar examples from yesterday. Noun phrases, but in this one, we are gonna check expectations. Okay, noun phrases with the word, when. with when. We are gonna check this with when. Okay, uh, please help me, Carla, with uh, with this part. Okay, now let's see how to make noun phrases with when. We can use the expressions. Okay, take, uh, we have two. Number one? Supposed to? Uh, okay, supposed is T, pronunciation T. Supposed to? Supposed to, correct. Supposed to do, or? The custom to. The custom to. We are going to see how to use them, no problem. And now the example, the general rule, can you read it please? Uh, let's see, Eduardo, Eduardo Jose. When closes plus subject plus bird to be, Plus supposed to, plus verb, plus complement. Okay, thanks. Okay, check. This is the rule that you need to follow uh, for using these phrases. The examples are, example number one, let's see, Melissa, Melissa or Romeo. This one. When you speak, so, when you speak to someone, you are supposed to read that person. Okay, that is number one. When you speak to someone, you are supposed to greet that person. Uh, can you can you translate this sentence? Can you translate it complete? Cuando hablas con alguien, tú está suponiendo no sé qué significa ahorita ok, no problem any other idea about this any other ideas when you speak to someone cuando habla con alguien mm -hmm. ok supposed to is an expression that you use like for example in Spanish Ah, se supone que, right? It is something that you should do in a specific situation. In other words, you are saying, ah, when you, cuando usted hable con alguien, se supone que usted. Saluda ajá, a esa persona. Ajá, or in, other, in the context, you should, debería, right? We don't have should in the expression, but in the context, is there, en el contexto es si está ahí. You are supposed to greet, se supone que debe, uh -huh. say, yeah. say hello. Saludar a esta persona. Correct. When you speak to someone, for example, 
So this expression means that. A eso se refiere. Suponer, right? It's that it is, it is something that you should do in a specific situation. Let's see number two. Can you read number two? For sure, but uh, what is the meaning of read? I don't know. I agreed. Uh, yeah. Hello, guys. Hello. What I say every night that I have the class with you. I am greeting you. Hello. Hello, Romeo. Hello, Julio. Hello, Ivan. Greet. Say hello. 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 Say hello, hello. to someone. Ah, uh -huh. okay. I understand. Say polite to someone. Ah, uh, yeah. Yeah, because if you if you see, do I start the class saying, okay, guys, this is the topic, and I continue. No, right? I say hello to you. Hello, Carla. Hey, how is it going? Romeo. Hello, Ivan. What's up? Okay, great. Great people. So I am doing that in this Thank you. case. Okay, no problem. Uh, second sentence. When you... When you visit someone, it's the custom to take a gift with you. Ah, that is something that you should do when you visit a relative, when you visit someone, I don't know, someone's uh, that is in the house, a friend of yours, etc. So when you visit someone, it's the custom too. What is the meaning of it's the costume too. What is the meaning, guys? Es costumbre. La costumbre, right? Because you are seeing the article de. It's the costume too. Es la costumbre. Llevar un regalo contigo. Yes. To take a gift with you. Okay? Good. So those are the two expressions that you can use about using noun phrases with the word when with when okay let's see now make a noun phrase with when taking as reference the next pictures okay picture number one picture one picture one remember you need to follow this similar from yes from last night similar when clause plus the subject verb to be and the expression. You can use this one or this one. And remember, in this case, you need to use a specific verb. Greet, uh, to greet in the infinity. To greet, to take, and the complement, of course. Okay, any idea for this picture number one? Check the picture, check what's going on there, the activity, the place that you see. Those details are going to help you to make the sentence. When you go to the restaurant, you, ha uh, you have to use uh, or okay. you have to eat slowly. Ah, uh, okay, okay, very good. Let's see. I'm going to write your sentence, Julio. Can uh -huh. you repeat it? Uh, when you go to the restaurant. When you go to a restaurant. A restaurant. Uh, you're supposed to, to eat slowly. To eat slowly. Hey, that is good. Yes, that is true. Okay, that is true. Okay, check it. Check it, Julio. Guys, check the sentence and tell me if the sentence is correct. Hmm? Okay. But the verb to be? Ah, okay, the verb to be. You are supposed. Ah, supposed. correct. Yes, that's right. Uh -huh. The when clause is here. When clause. There it is. Next. What is next? Subject. The subject. Restaurant. Correct. Uh, verb to be. 
Where to be uh, the subject? You or are. Where to be is missing, correct. You are. Uh-huh. You are supposed, supposed to eat slowly. That's right. Okay, pretty good. <clears throat> Sorry. Any other idea? For a second sentence? When you visit a restaurant, it's the custom pay the ticket. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Okay. <laughs> I had some cough. <clears throat> when you visit a restaurant, uh, but it would be better if you say when you invite someone to eat, Continue the sentence. It's custom. The custom is. Ah, correct. It's, yes. It's. It's custom. The custom. To. To, to pay. To pay. To pay. Uh -huh. To pay what? The bill. The bill. The bill. Yes. To pay. The bill, correct? That is a good tip. Both of them. That's great. Okay, very good. Okay, very good. Okay, next. What about this picture? Number two. Any idea? Okay, uh, Julio has already participated. Let's see, Carla, Ivan, Francisco, Melissa, Wendy, Eduardo. Uh, tell me, tell me, ideas. When, for example, when you are on the road at night, Okay, let's let's type it. When you continue. Okay, can you repeat it, please? Repeat it. Uh, can when you can you repeat the sentence? What you said? When you are on the road. Uh, when you are on the road. At night, uh -huh. you supposed to. You are supposed to use the light. Use <clears throat> the lights better. What is this when you drive? What's this? The object that you fasten. Mm -hmm. You are supposed to use the the seat bell. Bell. Yes. Bell, That's bell. it. This is better. When you are on the road driving, we can add driving. When you are on the road driving, you are supposed to use the seat bell. Okay, correct. It is correct. Francisco, yes, another option. Okay, teacher. Um maybe when you drive. When you drive, uh huh. When you drive, uh, you are supposed to be careful. Correct. You are supposed to be careful okay the sentence is is correct pretty good okay nice 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 very good guys okay let's see next slide the similar sentences similar examples but we have a different picture what about this one
ideas, Sofia? Okay, what about this picture, guys? Can you make any sentence similar to the previous ones? Come on, come on, only one, only one of you. Um, when you drive, it is a custom. Um, be polite with the... No. La gente que camina. Pedestrians. Transeute. Ah, okay. There is a word. There is a word. There is a vocabulary. Pedestrian. When you, repeat it, Romeo. When you. When you. Uh -huh. You said drive, right? I don't know who to say you. Okay. When you drive. Yes, you said it is supposed you are, right? You said you are supposed. You are supposed. Mm -hmm. All right, Carla, yes. Next, next teacher. Okay. I have another idea. Ah, different. Okay, we can complete this one later. Okay. okay. Go ahead with with your sentence, no problem. When you see an elderly person, you are supposed to help to cross the street. When you see an uh, elder person, okay. You are supposed to, supposed. You are supposed to, to help to help to cross the street. Ah, okay, this one, yes. To help, to help people on the street. Yeah, okay, possible. That's or, it. Or, or when you are crossing the street, uh, you are supposed to be careful. Ah, yeah, that's right. When you cross the street, uh -huh, if you are crossing, correct, what? you are supposed to, to be careful. To be careful, correct. To be careful. Okay, pretty good. Nice. And one option with it is the custom. Can you make one with the expression it's the custom too? Maybe teacher, mm -hmm. uh, when you cross the street, uh, it's custom. All right, is a custom. Uh, okay, I will give be, you some. To be help. careful, to be careful the traffic light to be green uh, okay okay your sentence is is okay it's similar to this one because you are using uh, you are supposed to be careful checking the stop lights yes that is true uh, another option can be when you cross the street it's the costume or when you see when you see someone Crossing the street, it's the custom to offer some the help, some help, because this woman needs some help to cross the street. Okay, so if you check, you can make different sentences using those two expressions. Okay. I have other teacher. Okay. Let's uh, write it down. Yes. Okay. When you are driving. When you are driving. You are supposed to respect the traffic signs. All right. The traffic 
signs. Ah, okay, that is true. People, people don't usually do that here in El Salvador, but this is a good example. Correct. I agree. I agree with, with the last sentence. Okay, pretty good. What about this uh, this man that is crying? <laughs> uh -huh. This little man that is crying with no reason. Supposed to or it's the custom to. I know that you can make the sentence. Come on. Come on, well, come on. Well, uh... It's for the secret cool man. Uh -huh. And when, when you get fired from your job or your work. Oh, heavy. When, when you, you get fired, fired from your job. Fired from, uh -huh. <laughs> from your job. That is job. a funny sentence. You are not supposed to you worry too much yeah you are not a hey, but in negative really in negative, in negative. you are, yeah, you are yeah. not supposed supposed worry too much to worry, worry to worry too much too much ah this is contradictory that is kind of heavy to do <laughs> when you are fired from my job, this is difficult to do. Okay, you are not supposed to worry too much. Funny, funny, but I don't know. It's kind of hard to believe, but the sentence is, is correct. Yes. Okay, very good, very good. Okay, with the other, with the other expression, can you make one? With, uh, it's the custom too. When you lost someone? When you lost, when you lost or lose? Lose. Correct. When you lose someone, someone it is a custom cry a lot. It's the custom to cry a lot. Okay. Yeah, that's true. That happens when, when you lose someone. Okay, it's like like custom to feel bad, for example. Yes. Okay, pretty good, guys. Nice, nice, nice. Okay, continuing with the with the next part. Let's see. This one, if you see, we are going to make sentences or noun phrases, but with the word if, not with the word when. With the word if, what is the order? First, we have the if clause, clause. plus 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 a subject. subject. Next, plus verb to be. Have verb to be always. Plus supposed, supposed to. to. Supposed to or cost. It's the custom to both. Plus. Plus verb. A verb. And complement at the end. Examples. Read them, read them, please. If if you want to invite someone, you are mm -hmm. supposed to take that person with you. Ah, okay. Correct. If you want to invite someone to drink a coffee, to have lunch, etc., you are supposed to take that person that you are inviting with you. Okay, that is what he's supposed to do. Second example, if... Okay, there is a mistake. I need only one verb in this one. Check. Not visit. Mistake. Can you read it? If you take a nap, it's the usual to program the alarm. Ah, this is a different one. 
you can use supposed to or you can use uh, is the custom to or we have expression number three. It's the usual two. Es lo? Usual. What you always do. Okay, that is usual to do. And in the sentences, it's the usual to program the DLR. Okay, if you check, there is the mini animation about the clock representing the second sentence. Okay, pretty good. Remember, you can use supposed to, uh, is the custom to, or it's the usual to. Okay, now let's practice with this picture. All right, it's your turn to make one sentence with those expressions, but remember, you need to use if at the beginning. Okay, number one, please. Picture, picture number one. Let's see if you can make it. Carla, maybe? Do you have any idea? Julio, Ivan, Romeo? All right. Yes, yes. Anybody? In your assignments on the platform, you will have these structures. You are supposed, you are supposed to complete the sentences according with the structure that you will see in the platform. So this is a similar practice for the things that you have to do in the platform. Okay, if you see this picture, how can you begin with the sentence? Hello guys, yes, anyone? Yeah, hi. Yes, teacher. Okay, Francisco, yes. If you are playing? If you are playing, okay. You are supposed to be happy? Uh, correct, in the picture, if you check the boy, doesn't <laughs> look happy, yes. Yeah. You are? Supposed to be happy. To be, to be happy. Okay, one example. That's it. Okay, another option that you can give for the same picture. We can make different sentences. If you see, different verbs, etc. Yes, Carla. Okay, Carla. Maybe you have one. If you are playing alone if you are playing no it is already used ya la usaron if you are playing if you um if you have a ping pong ball i don't know if, what kind of ball if you have excuse me uh, uh, the name of the ball for me, it's like a pinball ball. A uh, pinball. Pinball? Mm, I don't know if that is the word. Uh, okay. What is what is the word that you are trying to use? What's the word? Una pelota de ping pong. Ah, a ping pong ball. Okay. A ping, ping pong ball correct mm -hmm. uh -huh. it's, usual. it's usual it's the usual check it's often it's the usual the usual 
to play with a friend. Ah, uh, okay. Okay, good example. To play with a friend. Yeah, because the guy is playing alone. He's playing alone. Okay, pretty good. Okay, both sentences are, are, are okay, are correct. Nice. A third one, last one. Okay. Well, if you are bored, if you are bored, to pause it, to find friends. Ah, okay. If you are bored, repeat it. Repeat it, please. You are you are supposed you are supposed supposed uh, to find friends friends to have fun friends to have fun fun did you say to have fun uh you mean uh to be in your house no uh, well, on, the, on the park, two friends on, on the park. Ah, para divertirse, to play, para divertirse, to fun, to have fun. To have, I have fun. Have fun. Yeah, ah, have fun. yeah, you have to use, you have to use the verb have, because if you say fun it is not a verb, you need to use have fun. Have fun, yeah, yeah, yes. Yeah. Have fun as a verb. Okay, pretty cool. Pretty cool. Nice, nice, nice. Okay. If you are, if you have, if you are. Correct. Okay. What about in this picture? Uh, let's see, Julio, an idea, please. If, if you are, if you are worried about something, um, the second picture, if you are worried, but uh, let's see, what is the action? There is an action happening oh, in the picture. Sorry, if 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 your nose is is running, or if or if you or if you have running nose, uh, if it? you have a running running nose. Uh huh. Okay. The, uh, mm -hmm. the usual. The is, usual is to to take medicine. Okay, as a recommendation, yes. Okay, if you have a running nose. The usual, let, let me check. The usual, oh. It is, mm -hmm. it is it's, it's the usual, it's the yes. usual. It's the usual. Mm -hmm. Okay, to take medicine, very good. Okay, this is one option, correct. Or if you are sick, for example, you can use sick in this part as well or okay you have flu. ah or yeah possible flu. yes if yeah. you have flu you are supposed you are supposed to take medicine uh another compliment that it that isn't to take medicine because we have to take medicine in this part you are you supposed to drink tea <laughs> Uh, for you example, maybe go to the doctor. You are supposed the usual to go to the doctor. Ah, uh, to drink tea. Uh -huh. You can use uh, to go to the doctor. To the doctor. Correct. What else? A piece of paper for your nose. To take. Uh -huh. To take a piece of paper. To but take a, a paper uh, would be difficult to, to clean shoe. yourself. For example, this, what is this? Vocabulary. Uh -huh. Towel. Servilleta. Tissue. In English? A tissue. Correct. Tissue. Tissue, correct. 
to take a tissue. That's it. Tissue, really? Uh, let me check. Mm -hmm. Tissue, tissue. Uh, uh, tissue. Okay, this is about nouns. Mm -hmm. Tissue, really? Are you sure? That is tissue. Mm -hmm. I'm not convinced that is tissue in the word. Aha, uh -huh. okay. The word is nap napkin. Mm -hmm. uh, napkin. If you are not sure, you can check in the dictionary. What's a napkin? Can you read the definition? A small square piece square. Of, of, or paper used while you are eating to protect your cloth or to clean your mouth or fingers. Ah, okay. So it's better the word napkin, okay, for that, than tissue. Check, there is a picture. Okay, pretty good, pretty good, guys. Okay. All right. Nice. Let's see. Uh, we have, ah, okay, we have two more pictures. So you can make a couple of sentences more using if. Okay. What about this picture? In this one that a person is, is swimming, clearly. Idea? If you go to the pool. If you go to the pool. And you are suppo supposed to use a. Uh, recuerdo como se dice. Traje de baño. Guys, do you know the vocabulary for traje de baño? Bathing suit. Yeah. Uh, swimming. Better swimming. 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 Swimming suit. Correct. If you go to the swimming pool, uh -huh, to be specific, if you go to the swimming pool, hey, that's true. You are supposed to use swim, a swimming suit. Ah, uh, correct. You're not going to, to swim naked, right? Okay, pretty good. And uh, next, another example with with the same one. Mm -hmm, teacher. Okay, go ahead. If you are taking swimming classes. If you are taking swimming classes. You are supposed. Uh -huh. To take a instructor's indications. Ah, to follow. That would be follow. To follow is your instructor's indications. Yes, because if not, you're going to drown in the swimming. Yeah, correct. Okay, pretty good, pretty good. Let's do the final, the final, uh, the final examples. For the last picture, check. Okay, the last one, please. The last one. Romeo, maybe? Uh, Francisco? Yes. Um, so if you, if you read in a book, it's the usual to, <laughs> <The compliment. laughs> ah, okay, you're close. If you read a book, it's the usual. Uh, read slowly, <laughs> maybe. Uh, okay, good, good try. You can say if you read a book, it's the usual to finish the reading until the last page, okay? Not leave it uh, in the half. It is 
the usual to finish the reading, to finish the book. Correct. Okay, pretty good. Um, if you if you study a language, for example, if you study English, it's the usual to do your assignment. Don't forget, it's the usual to do your assignments if you study English. Okay, pretty good, guys. Okay, we don't have more slides to check. That is the end of the presentation. Okay, pretty good. I'm going to be uploading this presentation in the Google Drive file so you can download it and consult the, the information when you do the assignment. Guys, please finish section number five, the final exam section as well. And that you would be it. That is the end of the course. Tomorrow is the final class. We are gonna do a different activity, no more topics to cover. So tomorrow we finish. Hope you can connect. So you can tell me goodbye and I tell you goodbye at the end. Thank you guys for, for joining uh, tonight. Thank you and great day tomorrow. Thank you so much for Thank participating you. as well. Bye, everyone. Thank you. Thank you. Have a good Thank you. Tomorrow, Thank you guys. tomorrow Bye, guys. Everyone. Appreciate that. Thank you. Until tomorrow. Yes. Tomorrow we finish.